Hi crafty friends, Merry Christmas Eve. This is Tasha. Thank you so much for joining me uh, today. I have spent the last six weeks sporadically um, working on a Christmas junk journal. Um, this year I'm doing something completely out of my comfort zone and I'm doing my December daily in this junk journal. I'm going to go through uh, the entire book I'll describe things that I have in here, um, most of which are uh, vintage postcards and Christmas cards. Um, and I will also put a link below to all of the YouTubers that have inspired me um, on my journey throughout creating this. My book is actually a vintage um, hardback book that I gutted and I created four signatures and I uh, glued a, a faux spine into the book. I also added a little bit of muslin um, to give it kind of a fun texture. I used a lot of Tim Holtz Christmas papers in this book, this being one of them. Um, I had this uh, nameplate in my stash I added some trim to the side. I did cover the spine with some green fabric that I picked up at Joann's. And uh, let's talk about this gorgeous charm for a minute. This absolutely beautiful charm is from my friend Emily. Um, she has an Etsy shop in which she uh, creates and sells these charms. It's called Emily Inspired Designs and I'm going to link her shop below. She really has an amazing uh, style. Her charms are such high quality, um, and even some of the most famous designers have picked up her charms and added them to their projects. Look how sweet this is. So, if you have completed your December daily or you're you know, working on it and almost done, and you just don't have time to create a charm, go to Emily's shop, check her out. She still has a few Christmas charms left. You could just buy it and be done with it. I also added a ribbon tassel to add some texture on the side of the spine. I really wanted to have a homespun kind of fabric feel to this entire book. Therefore, I have sewn on almost every single page and added fabric. Uh, trim to a lot of these pages. I have just a simple uh, trim closure, nothing special. And let's move this out of the way. And let's start in the cover. So I covered the front cover with this beautiful paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was in their Christmas paper pads this year. Super, super gorgeous. I coffee, no, I tea dyed a lot of paper. Um, and I added and stitched in a lot of that paper into this book to create a vintage kind of 50s feel. That's what I was going for. And I think I achieved it. I really, really love how this book turned out. And I created a cover in the front pocket with uh, an October afternoon postcard. And I just documented my reason why on the back and added some little ribbon there. I also added lots and lots of kind of danglies and jingle bells on the side of each of these because I just really wanted it to be chunky and full. And as you can see, it is definitely that. Um, I Like I said, I was inspired by lots of YouTubers. Um, I don't remember their names offhand. However, um, I will link them below. One of them being uh, Johanna. Um, she was a big inspiration for some of my pages. Um, here is a little pocket with some tags. I did start to do my December daily, so it's not actually December daily for me. It's just documenting our fun holiday Christmassy kind of events that we've done. And I've only gotten about three or four uh, days done. So and there's a little flip out. We went to Leavenworth, and so I documented that. There's another pocket 
And this is a Leavenworth postcard I picked up and I documented on the back of that. I added some tea dyed paper. Um, I picked up those Tuesday morning Anna Griffin cards that everybody had picked up and I just basically made them my own. I added an October afternoon vintage postcard on there. Here's another pocket and this is a picture of me and my husband. We were going down to the spa. We had a wonderful, wonderful 10 year anniversary getaway the first weekend of December. So I documented that very well. Some more um, journaling. Here's a picture of Leavenworth. It's basically a Bavarian Christmas village. And it's a really big deal here up in the Pacific Northwest if you've never been. Um, I added some more journaling here. I've got this gorgeous little vintage reproduction tag. I've got um, some pictures of an antique mall that we went to and then some little ephemera pieces. Um, here's just a little decoration. I've got some vintage Christmas paper in here. A little pocket that I made, a little envelope I made with my mini envelope maker. This is our drive home. It was very, very beautiful, wintry, kind of snowy wonderland. So I documented about that. And as you can see, I added some really fun detailed stitching um, on the sides there. There's one of those really amazing charms from Tim Holtz's Christmas line this year, along with his paper, and I did a little flip out, and then here's a pocket right here. I think I'm going too slow, so I'm gonna speed up. Here's an envelope from the Anna Griffin set I was telling you about. I um, actually hid my um, my uh, binding because I bound the signatures with thread. I hid it inside the envelope and I got that idea from I'm a Cool Mom. That I know for sure. And um, in that little set, I put a vintage Christmas card. This is not reproduction, guys. I have searched high and low and um, picked up at flea markets and everything my vintage um, Christmas cards. Um, this is actually a tag made from a vintage Christmas card. Here is another one of Miss Emily's charms. Guys, she is so talented. This is just a little, like a little tiny little charm she just threw together. And how sweet is that? It's a little bottle and it's got like a glass peppermint bead. So cute, so, so cute. So that's a pocket. Here's another flip out. I also used some of my vintage book papers with some beautiful snowy scenes and I just made that a little flip up. Here's some more music paper. This is vintage. Here's some tea dyed paper. Another cute little envelope. I used um, October afternoon for sure. Tem Holtz. I also threw in some crepe paper, fa la la, because I absolutely love crepe paper. This here is what um, the idea I got from Miss Johan, excuse me, Johanna. Um, I have vintage linens, uh, tons and tons of Christmas vintage linens. And so she inspired me to um, make a copy and print off some of my vintage linens so that I could add them um, into my books and just add another special unique touch. Here's some ribbon that I sewed on there. Here is a book page that I stamped on and then kind of did like a little border. I love how that turned out. More of the crepe paper fa la la. Um, here's some trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Super duper cute, I love that. Reminds me of like a an apron. Little flip out here. Here is, okay, so I do own this book. This is a Santa Claus book that I picked up. Um, if you've seen my vintage Christmas haul, you saw that I picked up a, a Santa Claus book and I printed, um, I went ahead and photocopied it because I, didn't, I just didn't feel right about tearing the book up. So I did photocopy that page on some sketch paper and I think it turned out really cool. This is a vintage um, envelope with a letter from Santa. This is completely original and I intend to preserve that for as long as I can. I also made a little collage down here with a little fabric button. This is some authentic paper. This is a vintage um, paper out of a Lifetime magazine I have. 
I added a little pocket with some crepe paper up there. This is also one of the linens that I have and I copied it onto some sketch paper and I think it turned out really fun. I created this doily from some vintage music paper that I have. Here's some more Tim Holtz paper with a little flip out and I added this sweet little garment pen from Tim Holtz with a couple of buttons. I just love, love, love how that looks. It's just so fun. Another little flip out. Here is another envelope with a vintage Santa Claus Christmas card. This is one of my most favorite images of Santa Claus. And the inside, oh my gosh, so, so cool. Another little pocket that I created. These little tags, these are made from vintage Christmas cards. Don't worry, I didn't cut these up. I actually bought these at a flea market. Um, they had used a tag punch and punched out a whole bunch of cards. Um, I think the cards were ruined either on the sides or torn or something. And so they were smart and tried to preserve the cards. And these are original, they're not reproduction, which is really fun. And I care a lot about that. That's why I keep saying it. I'm not a big fan of reproduction vintage items. However, I still will buy them. But guys, let's be real. We want the real thing, right? Here is a fabric pocket that I made. I was very deeply inspired by this one lady on YouTube, and I will link her below. She has really amazing um, little quilted pockets that she creates. And then here is a couple more um, vintage cards. Love these images, guys. So, so beautiful. More paper. And then I added some ribbon tabs um, on a few of these, and I sewn some rickrack. Just fun little tidbits like this. This is a pocket that I created, and I added some little um, fabric with an ephemera um, piece and a button. One of my favorite, favorite vintage Christmas cards that I own. So, so cool. Once again, I own the Santa's um, Toy Workshop book, the Golden Book, but I just didn't feel right um, cutting it up, so I photocopied it for myself and added it in here. Here is a pocket with a vintage um, flashcard. And I added like little, I created like this little ribbon out of uh, one of my vintage doilies. I know, I cut it up and I added those vintage buttons. A lot of, lot of fun stuff. Here's a pocket with some ribbon, some trim I got from the Target dollar spot. This white trim I picked up, believe it or not, from Hobby Lobby. I don't mind that it's not vintage because it's just so beautiful. Added some rickrack. Here I added a pocket with a tag. Added some vintage buttons. This is from Fala La more book paper, little journaling card that I added a little ribbon tag to. I really, really enjoyed sewing on these pages. I think it just gives it that little extra something special. A little pocket with a vintage. This is a money card. How fun is that? And this is like, has like the face of Washington or Lincoln or whoever. This was fun. This is an old book page that I tore the image off of and created like this little collage on this pocket with some vintage buttons. Here's another flip out. And I added this little garment pin with this North Star from Tim Holtz's new Christmas charms this year. A little uh, kind of collage down there. These are so fun. I found these cookie cutter pieces um, in the in the uh, button section at Hobby Lobby and um, I just love those little flip out here's another envelope with a, a vintage Christmas card god how gorgeous is that little pocket tab flip out here I copied my um, poinsettia doily onto my tea dyed paper and I think it turned out great this is a little tuck spot, some vintage. Now I actually did use this book paper. Um, so I don't, it's hard for me to use my stuff. I don't wanna use it. I just wanna photocopy everything. Here's a little pocket. 
This is paper from Fala La with some rickrack and some beautiful, now this red trim is vintage, this red and white eyelet trim, that is vintage. This little tab, this is the back of that Anna Griffin card. This is my vintage doily, this green thing. This is my vintage doily I cut up and added in here. Here's another copy of my vintage doily onto tea dyed paper. Fa la la, this is from um, one of those Michaels paper pads. I just really loved that Santa image. And then on the back, I photocopied my doily, or my hanky. Another pocket. Here I added a book page from one of my um, books all about plant life. It's a vintage, vintage book. Here is a um, vintage postcard, original, very old postcard. Um, so, so pretty. There's no stamp, so I guess it was never sent. And then I created a fabric pocket here. So that's fun. Um, I was also inspired by the same lady that creates the um, quilted pockets. She makes these little paper ribbons out of her music paper, and I just love, love, love that idea. So I um, crafty lifted her. And here is um, Johanna inspired, where she actually cuts out the shape of the, of the handkerchief for the doily. That Christmas card that I have, I photocopied it onto some tea dye paper and I just love the way that turned out. Christmas uh, music paper. Christmas music paper is hard to come by, especially the vintage stuff. Here's another envelope hold, um, holding another vintage Christmas card. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. This is a long video as it is and I didn't want to bore you. I just wanted to do a flip through and share with you all of um, the goodness that is this junk journal I created. Um, I worked really hard on it. No joke. How cute is that? And here's another one of those paper ribbons. And here is the Santa's Toy Shop Golden Book. Um, like I said, I photocopied the front, um, I guess the one of the pages, and then I added some Distress Ink to make it look old. Um, I just can't rip it up. It's it's actually my book from when I was little. It's even got my name in it, so I, I can't rip it up. I added some crepe paper ribbon at the bottom here, and this is one of those book pages about plants. Created a little pocket here to put something in. I own this vintage wallpaper, and I photocopied it to add it to my book. It's incredibly too fragile to actually sew um, into the signature, so I uh, decided to add it into my book this way. I have the Martha Stewart doily punch, and so I made this doily out of Tim Holtz Christmas paper and added that as a little tuck spot pocket. This is the back of one of those Anna Griffin cards with some sewing detail. There's the other side of that beautiful vintage doily, and here's the back cover. And then I left the back cover that gorgeous kind of leathery red color. Really, really fun, really beautiful. I am incredibly happy with how this um, book turned out. I am definitely excited to document my Christmas memories in this book. And uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, about um, any of the products or any of the items that I used in this journal, please leave a comment below. I get notifications and I am very diligent about checking my YouTube channel. So thanks so much for watching and Merry Christmas. Bye.